man. Oh man, it's been so long since I've been live. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hello everyone. I've been working on some music and stuff. I hope you guys have been good. Hmm. Oh, this is a nice question that I immediately see. I see Wendigo is in here. I see I see Dillinger is in here. Hello. Heptanaut is here. Hello, Heptanaut. What motivated you to start your music career and what are your future plans with it? Um, <clears throat> I've been working really hard, as some of you know. Some of you people who have maybe caught me live in like the two times I've gone live this year or people that have come to any of my shows that um, I am planning on having somewhat of a transition in my uh, music and my art. And I've been working for quite some time, actually, since since the end of last year in about November. I've been working on one project. Working on one project. And uh, it's finally seeming like it's going to come out <laughs> at some point soon, you know? Who knows? We'll see. Hopefully in the next uh, few weeks to months here, we might see some new music. And, uh, <laughs> hey, A14, how you doing, bro? What's up, Merrick? What's up, Ray? Uh, all the people are here. All the people pulling up. It's so cool to see you guys. What's up, Scottsker? So I thought maybe, you know, might be a cool opportunity to play, like, just a song or something, or a couple songs, you know, if you want to hear some stuff I've been working on. And then we'll keep it pushing. I've uh, been mostly keeping to myself recently, aside from going on tour with all the homies and, you know, visiting them from time to time. Just been working on stuff and keeping it pushing and taking care of myself more and eating well and getting exercise and stuff. Let's see. What do I want to play? Okay, well... I'm going to play a song about how this year I planned on not doing any drugs. But, uh, you know, life happens. And when you have problems with drug dependency and emotional issues and you also have lit friends who do lit shit like drugs, sometimes you end up slipping up. And this song is kind of about that feeling. A bitch, my mind is the worst. Unlimited time on earth, it's a curse being birth. You son of a bitch, like Romulus and Remus. Libra shine like Venus. I got the rhymes, you got to read it. It's in your jeans, like vagina or a penis. A neva, a vema? I feel like a lima way up in a tree. I'm looking around at parking lots and possibilities to me. All right, that's where, I, that's where I'll stop it. Might drop that soon. 
you want to if you want to hear it might drop that soon i think that's uh that's lit uh it's produced by scott Skirt. he's in this live so if you see him be like nice job dude but yeah that's the song i made um i'm not gonna play like a whole lot obviously because i'm not the type to spoil things but um I'll play the ones that I think might, I'll play another, a little bit of another one that's like something I think might come out before, like as a single or something, because I'll, I'll do a couple of those maybe. Hmm. This one's nice. <laughs> this one's super demo-y, but I think I like it. The more I listen to it, the more I don't really want to change it. <laughs> yeah, that song keeps going, but I'm going to stop it. I don't like playing all of it at one time. But yeah. I might drop those if you guys, if you guys enjoy. Got some more stuff, but obviously, I don't know. I don't think this one's going to come out. I just I was feeling some type of way that day. That that thing's probably never gonna come out. <laughs> that song is just kinda like whatever. <laughs> I made this. This is probably never gonna come out. It's just like some sped up like shit that I made. one's weird yeah i'm gonna play you all the weird ones that are not going to be on the album <laughs> but they might come out like on some b-sides shit later or something you know because they just don't fit the vibe of what i want the project to be but they're still like cool songs and like cool ideas but they're just like weird when i look into your eyes No 
fix. Can't find nothing that sticks. Bring my bones with rocks and sticks. Baby, I can tell you sad. I can see by the way you smile and laugh. Can't let go of the past. You gon' have regrets to the day you pass. Fill your mind with that. She said I'm fine with that. So what's wrong with your brain? If I'm with you, I'm going insane. Personalities, many realities. Everything is her disguise. There's something hiding behind her eyes. When I look into your eyes. Yeah, so I, I don't know what that is. I just made that one day. Pretty cool, but it's like, it doesn't really like fit the album. I I think I'm like, uh, I'm like two thirds done with the album right now. And I suspect the last third to come in the, in the following months. Hmm. Is there anything else I even want to play? Maybe if I look inside the DAW, you know, because I don't have everything exported like that. Hmm. Mm. 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 Nah, I don't know. I think that might be all that I want to play. Mm. I'll play this thing. I don't know what this is. This must be a beat I made. Let's see if it's good. This will be the last thing I play, and then I'll talk to you guys for a little bit, and then I'm going to go eat something. Is this just a beat or is this a song? What is this? have to do a version of this where the guitar is like tuned a little bit better or something but yeah the way i've been making music recently is just by like making a bunch of ideas and if they get finished they get finished and if they don't then they don't i used to like sit down and like finish like a song a week and just like really like crank out like oh i'm gonna like obsess over this song for like a week and the cover and like the lyrics and recording it and shit but recently i think i think it's more fun for me to Kind of the same way I make drawings, just like make things until I don't, you know, want to anymore. And then that leads to like the best type of stuff getting created. I saw, what is this? You plan on dropping more metal music? Yeah, I like metal music. I want to make some fucking like grindcore music. Just like, because I want to. I've been listening to stuff that's like... like inhaling and like, like crazy.
noisy, like predator, like alien versus predator noises, like. <laughs> let me let me play it. I can't do what the guy's doing <clears throat> right now. Let me see. It's kind of like that. Where is it? <laughs> I like making funny sounds. What's the vibe of the album? Uh, I don't know. I kind of like... I know that like I have a lot of ideas that I've expressed over the years that have inspired a lot of people throughout all my projects and stuff. And I kind of just want to make something that to me feels like a proper like summation, but also expansion upon the things that I have like done, you know. I want it to be like a step forward. And and a, a, a open door for me to kind of after that be able to just like kind of do whatever I want. Mm. Kind of the opposite of like uh, what I saw somebody in here say earlier. They said they uh, they want the old darky back. That's that that's never gonna happen. Not because it like would like not because I like I'm choosing to. It's just like impossible. I can't like I can't make songs like I used to. I have to make songs like I do now, you know? Just like I can't make songs like I'm going to until the time comes. Uh, as time goes on, we all change, you know? We're different people every day, and there's no way to, like, replicate something that I did when I was, like, 20 or, like, 21, you know? As you get older, you want to move on to different things. And sometimes you want to leave certain ideas behind and move on to new ones, and that's totally fine. You got to do what makes you feel the freest, in life. Yeah, now I'll just like maybe answer some of you guys' like queries and questions and such. And uh, yeah. I'll get off when I want to go eat something. So maybe I should go through this little question thing again. Hmm. Uh, yeah, well, I already answered that one. Oh, how are you doing? Somebody asking me how I'm doing. Um, doing all right. Every day I kind of struggle with uh, my own battles with things, like we all do, you know, but pretty, like, grateful for my life and my situation, and the fact that I get to have my job be to make the art that I want to make. So, I, I, you know, as difficult as being alive is in general for most people that are alive including myself I try to remind myself as often as I can that being alive is a is a gift and we forget that sometimes as people we just kind of like do shit and we forget to take it easy on ourselves sometimes Um, should I make music even though I might sound goofy? Who gives a fuck? Just, yeah, do it. Whatever, you know? Who cares? Fuck it. You know? Whatever. Don't, you don't, don't ever, like, do anything because, or, or not do something because of insecurity, you know? Just do something because you want to. If you want to, do it. Oh. Let's see if there's any more questions or comments or things. You're going to the concert in Seattle? I'll see you there in Seattle then, buddy. Pew. That sounds really fun. To be at the Seattle show, going to be fun. I'm excited. We're planning a, a cool set list and a new cool production for the next tour. I'm excited. It's going to be fun. Uh, no, 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 no. Do you play video games? Uh, not really. Lately, no. If I do, I play, I played Tears of the Kingdom, the Zelda game when it came out, because I love Zelda. It's one of my favorite video game series, so played that for a, a little bit, for a couple weeks. Uh, I like Civ, but I haven't played that recently. 
I played it a couple days ago for like an hour and then I like turned it off. You know, I don't really, I have like too many things I want to do typically to sit down and do that. Do you ever listen to your fans' music? No, honestly, I'm very like, for me, the internet is like a, is like a pond or like a, a body of water that I have like near where I exist. And every once in a while I go into it and then I get back out and I go back to doing what I do. I don't try to conflate them. So I often don't have time to like do very much more than like, oh, I'm having trouble like with inspiration or I forgot what this looks like. Let me Google like Japanese pagoda. And then like that's like my use of the internet. Um, occasionally I'll go on social media, obviously, like right now, or like, you know, other social media apps, I'll just come in real quick, look at some shit, leave, you know. So no, the answer to your question is no. But it's not personal, it's just I don't be like, on here all the time. What religion are you? I don't think I, I don't think I deserve or qualify to, to, to say that I'm any religion that exists. I I don't follow any kind of creed or, like, way of life other than, like, my own set of morals that I was raised with. Do you regret the forehead tattoo? Uh, no. No, I like it. I don't really care. I think, uh... The blessing of not being able to care about that is something that I'm very thankful for, you know? Because once I crossed into, like, a mentality where I decided to even do that in the first place, I had already accepted that I, like, was not... Uh, that I, I was going to live the rest of my life not following what other people think is normal. You know? I'm not gonna limit my expression or my point of view or expressing who I feel I am. You know, as long as you're not hurting someone else, I think all forms of expression are very beautiful. Hmm. Let's see. Chicago show in February went hard. Thank you. I'm excited for the next one that's coming up. It's going to be cool. Going to be lit. Show the cut. It's just it's just shaved off. It's nothing nothing crazy. No. Crazy cut. Favorite metal artist? Uh I don't really have a favorite of a whole lot of things, but I'd say one of my favorites uh that I listen to quite a bit is System of a Down. There's a lot of inspiration there. Um, yeah, definitely. I see another person saying, are you returning to your old style ever? Nope. The songs that are there, you can listen to them however much you want forever. You know, maybe, you know, f there'll be some other people that'll make stuff that's like that, but I can't just, I'll never force myself to make any style of anything. My voice and my personality and who I am and my experience and what I want to talk about is constantly changing. And uh, frankly, I don't feel the need to rap about like like bong rips or like smoking crack right now. I just don't, I, I don't think uh, anyone should live like that for very long. <laughs> but being like that, like half a decade ago or so, or whenever I made those old songs, like, led to those being made. And that's beautiful that that got to happen. Ooh. Are you ever going to come back to Cincinnati? I think I am. Pretty sure there's a Cincinnati show on the tour that I'm doing at the end of the year. But, uh, if you ever want to fucking see where I'm going, just go to my website. It's literally lildarky.com. Just go there and you can see any shows that might be happening. Yeah, there is a Cincinnati, Ohio show on November 11th. What's in the background? A tapestry. You should do a song with Suicide Boys. You know, that'd be cool. 
Uh, but I don't, I don't actually really uh, listen to Suicide Boys. I know, but I, I just don't. I don't. I'm not. I'm not hating on them. I just like. I've never really known where to start. With that. And uh, right now, I've just been listening to a lot of like jazz and like experimental music and like metal and uh, like old rap and like beats and shit. <laughs> Might start, you know, making some, like a, an account where I can post instrumental music and stuff as well and things like that. Rap has honestly uh, been kind of boring recently to me. I don't know why exactly, but I think it might be because it's my job. And uh, I've done it for so long that I just feel drawn to other things sometimes, you know. That's not to say, you know, on my next album there's a lot of rapping, but... Um, so don't be afraid that there's like, no, oh, he's not going to rap, but... I've definitely just been getting more creative with it, if I do, and using it more as like a tool in my arsenal than like just a thing that I like gonna do. What are the morals that you mentioned earlier? I don't know, just like be good to people and like treat everyone with kindness. Um, you know, do my best to treat myself with respect and uh, admit when I make mistakes. And I don't know, just like basic human morality. <laughs> like just try to be a good person when you can and you know when you don't just do better yeah so I think that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much it unless I see something that strikes my my eye in these comments that are popping up one by one on this phone here I'm excited. It's going to be a good a good year. And I got a lot of good music and uh none of the music that you just heard in this live stream is going to be on the album except for maybe those first two I showed you that uh jazzy one and the acoustic one. But after that I'm not spoiling it. It's going to be kind of a long one, but, you know, also not too long. It's going to be like a pretty medium album for the current time. And uh, it's going to have a lot of what I think is some of my best music on it. And I hope you enjoy it. And, uh, yeah, I'm really excited. It's going to be fun. The future looks bright. Which is ironic, considering one of the song titles that's on the project. But... Hell yeah. I love you guys. Hope you have a good day. Take care of yourself. Treat your uh, families and friends and people with respect. And, uh, you know, be open-minded. Try to go out of your way to experience new things. And uh, do your best. Don't be so hard on yourself. Life get, Life is hard sometimes, you know. But don't talk soon, guys. Um, stay tuned. Might put out a song soon. <laughs>